If any of you have watched me for a while, you know that I've been building this base for a long long time, and that's because it's generally one of the smoothest solo bases out there. Even though the door peaks are very outdated with today's crazy designs, I always love going back to my roots. With rust constantly evolving, so should my base designs, so I've gone through and made this base even better. Now I haven't made the raid cost any more expensive, but I've added a few cool little tricks into the base to make it the best solo base yet. I have also added electric furnaces and some cool deployables that every solo needs to complete their wipe. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. In my next video I'll be giving away this chop shop garage door worth over $50. All you need to do is go down to the comments section and leave a comment. Also a like is appreciated. I want to give a massive shout out to my channel members. Thank you guys. If you want to support me and get some cool roles, hit that join button. Starting off the tour, coming through the first garage door and the first armoured door. We have a drop box here, which stops people from squishing through without crouching. We also have our repair bench, loads of boxes, locker, research table, all guarded by garage doors. Coming up to our bedroom, or the shooting floor, we have a bedroom with some drop boxes, which you can put some materials and stuff in, just in case you get online raided. We also have loads of cool deployables and even room for a farm. Trying to squeeze our way up into the heli garage, we obviously have our heli and our vending machine to sell all your unwanted stuff. Coming down where the bunker should be, we have our furnace, electric furnaces, tier 3 workbench, a battery behind the workbench, a locker, loads of box storage, all guarded by garage doors and our tool cupboard. We also have through this door a vending machine for extra storage. This right here is the tool cupboard cost, easy as that. Now I'm going to show you how the bunker works gonna place a twig wall frame standing on top of our bag here place a triangle floor here upgrade it to whatever you like preferably high qual and you're good to go as soon as you want to break it all you need to do is break this twig easy as that is your inventory severely lacking rust skins if you use my code leftyp in all caps on rust clash you can receive cases that can be claimed every single day you can also claim rake back when you use my code rust clash now offer a dynamic referral code which means you can change it every 24 hours Rust Clash has loads of different deposit methods, including Rust, CSGO, and Dota 2 skins, and they even have a crypto option. Rust Clash has all your favourite game modes, including my favourite, the Roulette Wheel. Rust Clash gives away over $25,000 a week using the Rain feature, which you can easily enter to through chat. So make sure you use my code LEFTYP in all capitals and get yourself some free skins. Also, make sure you gamble responsibly. To start off this design, we're going to start with three triangle foundations. Cover these in with walls, place a wall frame on the front, and you can place your roofs. Now you want to upgrade all of this to stone, apart from one wall, which I'll show you in a sec. You want this one to be wood. Place your door on the front, and you can place a half wall, and a triangle floor frame here. Demolish that, and you can place your tool cupboard inside. Upgrade this and you're good to go. From here, we can go ahead and place two triangle foundations outside, one wall, and a floor frame. Upgrade all of this, and we can place a triangle in this corner here, one square, and nine triangle foundations out. This will in turn offset a piece for a bunker. Delete all of the twig back, and come back in squares. When placing this triangle, look to the right a little bit and you should get this little stone texture in the bottom left hand corner. If you do have that, you could upgrade. Delete all of the twig back and do the same again. Nine triangles, one square, delete the triangles, <coughs> and come back in squares. Place a wall on the last square you just placed and connect a triangle roof piece to that. Upgrade both of these. It should be at 28% stability. Place a triangle foundation here and completely cover it in. 
This should then jump up to 31%. Then connect another triangle to this one triangle here, and it should be 11% stable. Just to test that your bunker works, place a wall frame here, place a triangle there, demolish the frame, and you're good to go. For now, we can just use a furnace to jump up. Go ahead and place a wall frame here, and we can jump up. Now you want your entrance to be here, so you place two walls, a half wall, a triangle, delete that. And leave the top either open, you can place a frame there if you really want to, or you can place a wood floor like so, because you will hatch it out later. You can then go ahead and delete all of the twig. And we can go ahead and start the honeycomb of the base. After you've completed the honeycomb, you can go ahead and create yourself a jump up. Now, you only want to place one of these triangles for now, but you'll see why later. Come into the inside of the base. I'm going to delete this door for now. What you want to do is go ahead and upgrade your core, your TC room, to completely armoured. You can upgrade this to bed as well. Go ahead and place a window on the front. Make sure it's facing the right direction. Now from here, you can go ahead and place a little shelf here, like so. And we go ahead and delete this wall. Now with this vending machine, you want to place it as far away from you as possible. Place a doorway and place a door. You then should in turn be able to place this other shelf here. You can also go ahead and place a wall frame in here, just to add another garage door later. Now we can add this other roof. Now if you have a large battery, I suggest placing this now. And I'd also try and place it a little bit to the left hand side. See I placed it in the middle there, if you place it diagonally to the left it will be easier to access without moving your tier 3. Now we can go ahead and remove this twig that we did earlier and replace it with a frame. You then want to find the front of your base, which is here, place three triangles, skip a gap, place three triangles, skip a gap, three triangles again. And in all of the gaps you skip, you want a square. We can go ahead and place windows on all of these. And add doorways. Now we want our jump up to be on this side here. So go ahead and wall that in and create yourself a little shelf. Place three walls like so, create yourself a jump up and place the triangle frame on top. You can then go ahead and fill in all of your roofs. I'm really not sure why it wouldn't let me place a frame here. In the actual build you should be able to. I think it's just a glitch in Builder Sanctuary. 
From here, we can go ahead and start our heli garage. Fire into the front of your base, place a garage door frame and a doorway opposite that. Just like so. And from here, we can go ahead and finish the rest of the jump ups to the base. Now these actually don't add to the raid cost at all, I think they just made the base look pretty cool. We can also go ahead and completely upgrade the entirety of our base. Now I'm not going to talk through the rest of this video, as it's all deployables and upgrades, which is pretty straightforward. It's also all in 2 times speed, so if you used to slow it down, it makes the voice sound really good. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and uh, let me know what you want to see in the next one. I also have some cool um, wipe content coming up very soon. So uh, yeah, stick around for that. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.
So you guys smashed the amount of comments last time. We're going to choose from all comments and pick a winner. And the winner is Andreas M. Thank you for the comment. Make sure you hit me up on Discord and I will give you your skin. Well done.